So now it's time to learn how to pass a parameter in the URL. So remember here, remember whenever you, you want to go to a specific uh, URL, you need to just type that URL inside that, be, uh, after that blog. So here we have blog and then forward slash, and then we have uh, created a URL called specific. And this is going to take us to the specific page or the specific uh, URL. But suppose that you want to pass here a number. Many blogs, many blogs and many websites allow you to pass here numbers, for example, one or two or three, whatever number you want in order to get a specific piece of data. And we are going to now learn how to do that. So to do that in Django, first of all, we need to head on over to the urls.py uh, that's inside the blog. And then here, let's create a new path, a new URL. I'm going to say here path, and then I'm going to say... I'm going to say specific, or let's say, let's name it, uh, let's give it a new name, another name. I'm going to say uh, article, I'm going to say article, and then in order to pass, in order to allow users to pass a number here, we need to say forward slash, and then angular uh, brackets, and then int for integer, and then the name of the URL. Let's name it article id article underscore id and then comma and then views dot article and then i'm going to name it here article name is going to be article let me now save and go to the views and create this function article now in the views if i create this function if i say here if i say here def and then article, I'm going to say article, and then request, request. Now the difference is that we need to pass a parameter because in the URL, remember in the URL here, I allowed users to pass an integer. So this article, you, uh, article underscore ID is going to be a number where users will be able to pass it. So we need to receive it. Here in the views, we need to say comma, and then we need to say article, article ID. And then we can receive it here and use it. Let me here say a return. And then I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to say HTTP response. I'm gonna, and then I'm going to return the article ID. I'm going to say article ID. Article ID. Let me now save and head on over to the browser. And now in the browser, let me first refresh. So now the specific page. Let me go to the article. We need to go to the article. I'm going to say article, article. So if I go to the article, just article, as you can see, what I'm going to get is that I'm going to get an error because this is incomplete. We need to pass a number here. We need to say forward slash and then the article ID. We need to say, let's say two, for example. If I say two, guess what? I'm going to get here two. I'm going to get two. If I pass here 20, I'm going to get 20. If I pass, if I pass 30, if I pass 30, I'm going to get 30. Whatever number you pass, if, even if you pass here 1,000, you are going to get 1,000. Because I allowed users to pass parameters. This is very, very important because this is going to allow, uh, allow us and allow users to view a specific piece of data or get a specific piece of data.